I'm uh, here today to uh, indicate to all of you that uh, yes, I have uh, crossed the floor over to uh, uh, a seat as an independent. It, it has been a very difficult decision for me to make, but that it uh, has been long overdue. Um, of course, I uh, I worked with uh, some many great premiers in my time. Premier Klein, I was uh, privileged, privileged to work with him and to uh, work with uh, Ed Stelmack as well, Premier Ed Stelmack, and both of them wonderful, 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 wonderful individuals. Um, and now, uh, the last two years under the leadership of Alison Redford, I, I can no longer stay with the party. I can no longer sit as a government member. I cannot return to work and sit on the same side as long as Alison Redford is sitting at the helm. She, uh, she is basically, she's just really not a nice lady. And I guess what threw me off really was the announcement yesterday about her paying back her $45,000, making it sound like that it wasn't her fault, that this was something that, uh, you know, it, was, it wasn't sincere. It was something that was uh, forced and uh, she should have paid it back right away and she never did. That, that's what threw me over. I, that was the, the final straw. Do you hope other MLAs will follow you? Well, of course I do. Absolutely, I hope other MLAs will follow me because uh, they uh, they experience the abuse as well. Um, many of them are frustrated, but of course, uh, the way this uh, leadership is uh, is run is through intimidation and bullying, and people basically are, I believe, afraid to, to speak up and talk, and uh, I, I I can't do that any longer. Not. It's a very difficult decision. I uh, grew up with Peter Lougheed as a good friend of my father's. My father was a strong conservative as well, progressive conservative. And for me to lead the party right now, I feel, I feel sad. I feel sad that, uh, that uh, what our premier has done to this party, to this province basically, in, in my mind, is a, it, it's, it's sad.